Good afternoon and welcome to this webinar, Knowledge Sourcing and Management. Thank you for joining. Before starting, I just would like to check that TKC Digital is also there with us. Pepin, are you there? Yes, Eloise, I'm there. Hello, everybody. So, my name is Eloise Noudi and I am a product consultant at Expernova and I am here today with Pepin Gerkens, Managing Director for TKC Digital. Through this webinar, we are going to give you our best practices and methodical approaches to easily access internal and external scientific and technological knowledge and enhance innovation projects. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the question tool on GoToWebinar and we will answer at the end. If we don't have enough time to answer all your questions, don't worry. We will come back to you with personalized answers. This webinar will last around 40 minutes. So to help you better understand the next step of this webinar, we thought it would be great to present the activity of our company. So I will start with Expernova. And so at Expernova, we developed a platform which capture and analyze global innovation activity to help organizations easily access worldwide expertise, technologies and networks on a unique place. The Expernova platform helps gain innovation insight into partners, suppliers, customers or competitors. How does it work? By tracking, matching and analyzing worldwide scientific production, such as scientific documents, patent, conference, clinical trials, project and millions of targeted web pages, Expernova empowers organizations to easily explore their extended ecosystem and reply their most strategic questions. With our platform, we make innovation intelligence accessible for anyone, anywhere. TKC Digital focuses on facilitating organizations to answer the questions of their customer first and right to create more satisfied and loyal customers. We facilitate this by enabling organizations to organize knowledge and consistently by showing the right information at the right time to the person via any chosen channel. Besides this, we enable organizations to learn from these questions to continuously improve their service and propositions. Our expertise is to assist organizations in knowledge management, ECRM, chat, social media and email management, giving them insights defining and achieving their desired situation. This expertise is independent of the chosen system, as a system should enable the organization to meet their knowledge organizational demands. So for the agenda of today, we will take you through a common use case demonstrating how using our platforms, we will be able to simply source internal and external knowledge and cap capitalize on it. But before starting, let's take five short minutes to explain the context and our approach. Yes, so today companies are aware that knowledge is a resource that needs to be strategically managed. It develops their intellectual capital, it increases their value, and it leads to competitive advantage. So today, being able to think in terms of flow and exchange, knowledge network and data management constitutes one of the major challenges. They are confronted to a fast, complex and networked world and have to face new realities to find the appropriate information at the right time. There's a proliferation in volume of the scientific data and the emergence of grey literature. There is a mushrooming of different sources of information disseminated on a global scale. The emergence of dynamic new countries and operators. The interconnection of many different scientific fields. And a shortening of the product life cycle. So in this context, searching for expertise isn't an easy task and keeping informed of the research ecosystem and scientific and technological environment surrounding an innovative organization is definitely becoming confusing. So reacting with greater agility, effectively accessing knowledge from internal and external sources and capitalizing on that knowledge are key elements that significantly influence the success of a company. 
These points have a direct impact on performance and it allows firms to be more efficient, reduce costs and save time. They do so by reaching the right information at the right time, by avoiding conducting the same searches twice, by reducing the margin of errors, accessing new opportunities and by improving the quality of customer experience. So to succeed in these tasks, firms adopt methodical approaches and complementary tools to capture, structure, spread and update information. To reply to this need, we developed a pathway to facilitate the access to scientific and technological knowledge. So let's go through it to understand the approach and then after that see how it works in real life. Let me walk you through this process description. First of all, when you're looking for expertise, it's important to verify if this expertise already exists internally. So do I have this expertise internally? Thanks to a knowledge base indexing the company knowledge and referencing fresh updated data, the company will access internal knowledge and will be able to verify if it exists in-house. If the knowledge exists, the company then will determine if the knowledge based on previous experiences is sufficient enough. Do I need to complete and or validate this information? This can be done by using the feedback mechanism that leads back into the knowledge organization. So if it's sufficient, the company has found the internal expertise needed and it's ready to go. If it's not sufficient or the company does not have the expertise internally, the company will have to complete its information through external sourcing processes. And to do so, the company will capture an overview of the global expertise on a specific topic thanks to a cross-border and intelligence searching tool which will allow us to map out collaborative networks, scientific and technological experts. Then the company finds the external, the external expertise needed, the decision is based on fact, reducing the margin of error, saving time, avoiding additional costs. And as a final loop, all the new knowledge acquired is integrated into the company knowledge base, making it available for other employees and avoiding making the same search twice. So let's go to an online demonstration. Um, the use case, I am an R&D director working for a pharmaceutical company and I need to find a new partner to support the cost of my next clinical trial on breast cancer. For that, I need to know all the knowledge we have acquired on the topic for being able to evaluate the collective and individual capabilities and find partners who can bring added value to my project. To do so, I will demonstrate you how to find the knowledge on breast cancer internally through the knowledge base. I log into my knowledge base, internally knowledge base, and I get a personalized web page in which I can search or browse depending on my preferences and I have a personal account page on which I can follow up all my given feedback on the content that's residing in the knowledge base and I can also review the subscriptions that I have on the articles within the knowledge base. I see four widgets they enable me to have a quick overview of the actual content of the knowledge base, news, last changed answers, the top 10 knowledge items used or searched for within my company, and known issues or malfunctions. By answer, entering breast cancer on the search engine, I can get all the available knowledge items residing inside the knowledge base. But when I prefer, I can also use a taxonomy to browse through the content of the knowledge base. Then the next step is to verify the knowledge we have internally on the subject, and in order to have a global overview of our expertise, being eventually able to valorize it to our future partner, it will allow us to show that we are also expert on the topic and give us scientific legitimacy. As you can see, my company has published all those scientific documents and invented patterns on the topic, showing that this topic is one of our main topics of research. 
This is an example of the knowledge residing within the knowledge base on breast cancer. Now let's see if my company has participated to clinical trials on breast cancer. So I go to clinical trials and I check what's known within the company about clinical trials we've participated. Well, we can see that my company has also participated on a clinical trial on breast cancer, but I understand that my company does not have a lot of experience to conduct such kind of clinical trial. It means we probably need a partner who can bring its experience and maybe its material and equipment to conduct a clinical trial on breast cancer. So now that we gathered the information allowing to have an overview of my company's expertise on breast cancer, we need to find external knowledge and expertise to identify organizations that can potentially be a future partner. For that, we are switching on the Expert Nova platform to source external worldwide expertise. Eloise will show you how this works. So Pippin showed you how to find internally the knowledge on breast cancer through his knowledge base. And now I will show you how to use Expernova to explore the global innovation networks. In other words, I will show you through our use case how Expernova will allow you to identify the organization with the best expertise in order to find the best partner to support with my company the cost of a clinical trial on the breast concert. So let's go to the Expernova platform. Once you log into Expernova, you can start your searches by entering your query in order to find the best expertise on breast cancer. So. Then you click on search. And here is the page of results. So in this page of results, you will access to a list of expert physical person and also organization that works on the breast cancer. So the people here, and we can see here we have the company, R&D Center, or the organization working on the breast cancer. So let's focus on the company. So to do so, to display the list of all the company, click more here. And so we can display the list of company who work on the Brisk Concert, that work on the Brisk Concert. Then, when you are interested by a company, you can access its full profile only by clicking on its name, like this. And it displays a profile on the right. Inside Roche profile, you can access Roche contact information, Roche research topics, its Roche expertise. You can also have a direct access to uh, the, the experts, the physical person who are working to, for Roche, and also to all the scientific works, the scientific documents, the patent, the project, the clinical trial, and its collaborative network. You also have a list of Roche suggested competitors. And finally, Expernova analyzes for you why Roche Profile is consider, considered relevant to the topic of your research through the why feature. The why feature is very valuable because it displays analysis item of Roche expertise on breast cancer, like its experience, how long Roche has been working on the breast cancer. So, we, we have some elements, like we can see that Roche has been working on, the, on this topic for 34 years. We have also other elements in terms of network. So that is to say we can access Roche Collaborative Network on the Brisk Concert. And you can do th this by clicking here on the number of collaboration on the Brisk Concert. So you can see a graph that represent Roche Collaborative Network. Roche is in the middle and all over, all around, you can see the organization with which Roche collaborates or has collaborated. You have the same information below under the form of a list. It's exactly the same information, only the form is different. And so, 
you can browse Roche Collaborative Network and visualize its strategic partner on the risk cancer. Thanks to the filter, you can assess Roche Network. Is it rather a national or international network, academic or industrial? You can easily see with which organization Roche collaborate or has collaborated, and even better, you can access the details of the collaboration. You can see with which organization they have co-published or worked on a clinical trial or a project or invented a patent. So, for example, we can see that Roche has collaborated with the National Comprehensive Cancer Network on the breast cancer. And to access the details of the collaboration, simply click on Open Connection here. As a result, we have a connection form that shows that Roche and the National Comprehensive Cancer Network organization have co-participated to 42 common clinical trials on the breast cancer on the topic. And each of these clinical trials is clickable, so you can access the details of each clinical trial I show you. So by clicking here, I can access to the list of the clinical trial produced by Roche and the National Comprehensive Cancer Network. Below, I have the list of the clinical trial. And if I want to access the detail of the clinical trial, I can simply click on it to access the clinical trial. And you have the title of the clinical trial, the date and end um, of the clinical trial, its status, the abstract, some keywords, and then you have the publication source, the list of the investigators, the list of the sponsor and the study location, and suggestions of clinical trial on the same topics. Let's go back to Roche profile to access its works and people working on the breast cancer. So I'm back on the Roche holding profile. And if we go back to the why here, we give you some elements uh, in terms of people. So here, sorry, here you, we have identified the experts of Roche who are working on the breast cancer. So if I click on it, I have the list of each expert and each of these experts have its own profile. And in the same way, you have the list of the scientific documents, the patent family and the clinical trials made by Roche on the breast cancer. At the last stage, once you have checked the expertise of an organization and you have access to scientific works on your topic, you can capitalize on your research by bookmarking, exporting, sharing, sharing the actor. So the export and share function allows you to export and share the profile and you have also the ability to export the list of the organization like this. And here this can be exported also. So to conclude this part, I let Pepin explain you how you can integrate all the new knowledge acquired with Expernova into the company knowledge base, making it available for other employees and avoiding making the same search twice. Thank you, Eloise. So yes, uh, when we go back to the internal uh, knowledge base, I can, by clicking on feedback in the right lower side, I can leave a feedback, I can add a note that, uh, that I went to the Expert Nova platform to get the latest news. I put in a suggestion. I tell the knowledge team that, will, that I will hand them over this new input. And this way, the knowledge team knows that an update is imminent and they can integrate this with the existing knowledge on the topic. I can go to my personal account page and I can follow up the feedback I've just sent with a status that will be changed or adapted as soon as the knowledge team has uh, read my feedback and has been able to deal with my feedback. So this brings me to the end of today's webinar. 
To conclude, let's summarize all the advantages that our global scientific and technological knowledge approach brings. It allows for choices based on fact and more confident decision making. It reduces the margin of error. It gives access to the best worldwide expertise. It doesn't gen generate additional costs. It offers a direct and on-time access to the required information. And it creates a learning loop, permitting the integration of new information into the knowledge base, making it available for the other employees. Well, I realize that the time has almost gone, so I propose we go to the questions. Now, to be clear, uh, we will separate the questions for TKC and Expernova. Um, I propose that I start with the questions related to TKC. Is that okay for you, Eloise? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So, first question I have here is why would we need such a knowledge base? Because we have SharePoint. Well, that's a good question, and to be honest, we hear this a lot. Uh, SharePoint is information management. It's not knowledge management. The fact that you can interact with the knowledge as a user, that the knowledge is dynamically organized, and that as a company you can learn from the feedback, makes this kind of knowledge base so much more powerful in the quest for employee engagement and customer experience. Another question I see, we have a lot of different information sources within our company. By switching to such a knowledge management solution, do we need to restart from zero? That's yet another interesting question, thank you, and it's also often asked, but do not worry, you do not need to start from zero. We help companies shaping up a vision and strategy before starting a knowledge project. And it is important not to duplicate knowledge already existing in your company. So if those information sources are already well kept and updated, we would suggest you link to them from your knowledge base. This way, users, be it internally or externally, will always know where to start looking uh, for knowledge. And uh, maybe a last one, uh, how do I get my people to actually use it? We have tried similar initiatives in the past. Well. It is important to actively incorporate the users from day one. Uh, this means that, for instance, setting up the taxonomy and defining the scope of your internal knowledge base, meaning what goes in the knowledge base and what stays out, that needs to be done with the end users. Once a project is launched, a continuously change plan has to put in place, impacting even your HR policies. For, for instance, link the usage of your knowledge base to the evaluation of your end user. Include the topics on the knowledge base in daily meetings, team meetings, etc. Okay, so I will continue with the Expernova question. Thank you, Pepin. And there is an interesting question on Expernova database updates. How do you operate database updates? Um, so when you access Expernova platform, you access accurate information because each month we integrate new scientific works including publications, patents, uh, projects, clinical trials and we update organization and expert profiles. So to, to give you an idea, each month we integrate around more than 500,000 new scientific and technologic works and we integrate more than 1,000 new organizations. Uh, and the last question to finish, uh, do you also map university? Of course we do. Uh, Expernova analyzes and provides you with rich and dynamic profile on experts, companies, universities, uh, R&D centers, laboratories, uh, research centers, clusters, hospitals, um, healthcare institutions, etc., etc., from all over the world. So, uh, Expernova is capable of analyzing millions of documents from various source, sources and um, databases in order to aggregate the relevant information they contain. And so, each 
organization, each laboratory or natural person present in the system gets a unique scientific profile. This profile allows you to access to its expertise, but also to delve more deeply into its work and uh, its specificities. Uh, so this webinar is now finished, and so for the question we did not answer, we will send you a personalized answer. Now it is your turn to use KTC and Expernova. If you are not yet a user, please feel free to ask for a personalized demo at pepen.gerkens at the knowledge base company, or for Expernova at eloise.nodi at expernova.com. Thank you for your time and bye-bye. Bye-bye.